So just wanted to do this video, let everybody know that I don't recommend this gear wrench driver to anybody. I think that this gear wrench driver is kind of a piece of junk. So um, take that for what it is. All right. As many of you know, I am a pretty big fan of gear wrench. And when I saw they released their new orange line of tools, which is what they're coming out with now, all the new gear and stuff is orange instead of red. And I saw the screwdriver and I thought I knew what it was. I was excited about it. I bought it and it's been one of the biggest disappointments of all time. As you can see, it's hardly dirty because you can't even use it. This is the ideal 21 in one screwdriver. Ideal is owned by SADA, which is a foreign tool company. The design on the ratchet and everything like this is really well thought out, really well done. I've done a review on this, one of the first videos I did on my channel. Um, well, I use these all the time. They're relatively cheap, they're like 20 bucks. I've given plenty away just to be nice. As you can see, the ratchet mechanism looks very similar. Everything on the, the, the screwdriver setup is really close to each other. So as you can see, like, even the ratchet setup, they're very similar, similarly made. You can see that like, this is a little bit bigger than on the ideal, so it should be easier to flip it from loosening to tightening. And the handle, the way that the bits are stored, these just come out, so you just cover up the one you don't want, but they're all double-sided bits, just like the ideal. But it's a flip-flop, so you have a quarter inch, have your 5 16ths here and then this is a 7 16ths nut driver and this is actually the problem with this driver and let's see if i can point it out to you guys this cutout and this shaft goes all the way down and as you can see let's see if i get this camera to focus they have to come back there it is okay so you see that silver piece of metal right there that silver piece of metal, when you ratchet the screwdriver, it moves around that. So in either direction, the driver moves around that piece of metal. These two cutouts are here to grab the flutes on the screwdriver. When I push this in here, and I push it all the way down, and I go to ratchet, like right now it's not ratcheting because I'm pushing pressure this way. If I don't push any pressure on it, it ratchets fine. So what's going on is that these two flutes are digging into that silver ring that it ratchets around and is preventing it from ratcheting, which is a huge design flaw and it makes this almost unusable as a screwdriver. I hate it. It's in my car in case I ever need one. But let's look at the way that the ideal 21 and one is set up. This is a 10 year old screwdriver. I, I use it all the time. It's amazing. See, see, you have the same design with the flutes, okay? But the difference is, when you look inside of this one, there is a recess down there that kind of juts out a little bit. So these aren't cut all the way down like they are in here. Because of that, you can have downward pressure on this and it doesn't affect how it operates. So this one, I'm gonna put pressure this way towards the head of the screwdriver like you're bearing down on a screw. Zero issues, zero issues at all. So just wanted to do this video, let everybody know that I don't recommend this gear wrench driver to anybody. I think that this gear wrench driver is kind of a piece of junk. So um, take that for what it is. I have their 90 tooth ratchets. I love their bolt extractor stuff that just came out. I have their 120 tooth torque wrench, which I think is awesome. Uh, but the screwdriver, they gotta go back to the drawing board with that. Really, this is a simple fix. Just don't cut these all the way down to the bottom. But they did. And it makes it unusable, which is really disappointing. I had high hopes for this. It just didn't pan out the way that I thought it would. If you like tool reviews, if you like videos like this, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and look for more of these in the future.